Hello again, this is Brian Cummings from Unknown Worlds Entertainment, and uh, this particular video is part two in a series that will hopefully help explain how to export your own custom models and get them to work with the Spark tools. First thing we're going to do is set up our folders. So here we go. Uh, if you look at my desktop, I have uh, two folders here, one called Brian Mod Source and one just called Brian Mod. Um, this is just my shortcut to the natural selection two folder, so we can ignore that for now. Um, so what we need here is a source folder and an output folder. The source folder should be anywhere on your hard drive, and the output folder, yeah, again, could be anywhere. But uh, I am just have them here on my desktop because it's a lot easier that way for this demonstration. So let's go ahead and open up Brian Mod SRC. And you can see I have a folder in here called Model SRC. The naming convention for these is actually really important. Anything in the model source folder, uh, like a Photoshop file, like a .psd, will be converted into a .dds. And anything in a the model source folder that's a, like a model compile file or a mo or material file will also be built. So um, it has to be named model source here. And um, what that's going to do is it's going to export into a model. Just, uh, it's just going to be called models folder, which is going to be in my output folder. Right now, my output folder is completely empty, and uh, that's okay because that'll generate automatically. So, in my models source folder, I have a folder called aliens and another one called gorgles. And in here are all my source files uh, my max file and my Photoshop files. Uh, I have eight Photoshop files, that's because I'm using two materials. And uh, for example, I'm just using the, the Gorge material and I'm using the Spec Ops material. So I need two materials and they all have four textures each. Um, each of them have their own, um, obviously their own diffuse color map. Uh, they have their own normal map, their own spec map, and their own uh, illumination map. So now that we've, yeah, we've seen our source folder, we need to set up Builder. Uh, actually, first thing we need to do is, is set up Launchpad here. So you see, I have Brian Mod already already selectable here. Um, if you haven't set up your own, well, let's just delete this for now, and, and I'll set up a new one here. So let's go ahead and create game, and we're going to call this Brian Mod, obviously, unless your name's not Brian. Um, then we should change our output directory, and our output directory is going to go to our uh, Brian Mod output folder, which is on my desktop. Um, so we are going to say OK there. Let's say OK there. And yeah, now I have this Brian Mod um, game selected. So if I'm using any of these other tools, it will recognize any files that are in this, this output folder. All right, so now we need to open up Builder. So let's double click that. So this is what Builder looks like, but it's not doing anything. Just a couple of blank windows, but uh, we need to load a setup here. So to load a setup, you need to go to your Natural Selection 2 folder in Steam and find builder underscore setup.xml, which is just going to be right there in the Natural Selection 2 folder, and open that. And this will just make sure that you have the, the right settings. This is yeah, this is what it needs um, to build things correctly. So now we need to go into settings here, and we'll see that uh, we have a blank source directory, and we have an output directory that's already filled out. That's because we have this selected as Brian mod, um, so it automatically fills out this output directory. And if this was you know anywhere else, it would it would, yeah it would just go directly to to that. Uh, we don't need to can ignore our temporary directory. And uh, this maximum build units, this is just how many builds can be going on at once. So like if I have eight Photoshop files and I change this to eight, then they'll all build at the same time. But uh, that really slows down the computer, so I'm just going to say keep it at one here. Uh, let's go to source directory here and open that up. And obviously I'm going to open up my Brian Mod source folder here and select that. So now we have a source directory hooked up which is this folder on my desktop, and an output directory hooked up, which is this folder on my desktop, and we can select OK. And now the magic happens where we just hit Build, and we select Build there. 
and it will automatically generate um, files. As you can see here, it says it's building, and right now it's building um, Brian Mod Models Alien Gorgles, gorgles.dds. Oops, uh, minimize that. Um, but um, this is going pretty quickly here. We've already done four, five, six, seven um, of these files. And uh, while we're waiting for that, we can go ahead and look at our output folder here, Brian Mod folder. Uh, we look at models, aliens. It actually automatically, you know, generated its folders. And uh, okay, so here are the uh, DDS files that were generated by Builder, and that worked pretty well. Now uh, we can just uh, keep Builder off to the side, and um, well, there you go. That's actually. That's showing that it worked correctly and it's set up and everything. Um, so that's it for this video. In the next video, I'm going to uh, open up 3D Studio Max and go over how to uh, export that correctly with uh, the right material hooked up and everything. All right, well, thanks for listening to this one, and I'll see you on the next.